33 watt fast charging stereo speaker 120 hz refresh rate so usually for a smartphone to have all these features you either can find it in for flagship phone or phone that is uh, more than like 1500 ringgit which is around 400 uh, US dollar but today we are going to review this phone that have all these features for only under 799 ringgit which is 200 USD coming right up hello what's up everyone welcome back to cheaper review this is George so if this is your first time here kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll get updates whenever I post a new videos about uh, the best deal or the best budget device that you'll get from the market so on my hand here is Poco X3 NFC so this phone the cheapest radiance only cost 799 ringgit and it actually have quite a lot of flagship feature for example 33 watt fast charging dual stereo speaker and also have a screen that have 120 hertz refresh rate this for me sounds too good to be true and it is a very unresistable deal so i bought it and check it out for you so next we'll move on to the unboxing so this is the poco x3 and fc smartphone okay. so Poco previously is a sub brand under Xiaomi. They shook the world when they launched their first phone, which is the Poco F1. That offer flagship chipset and performance at a very affordable price. After that, the other smartphones are not as exciting as the first one. This is the first time since after Poco F1, they launched an original phone with very unbelievable specs. And price so what I have here is the 6 GB RAM and 128 GB variant in shadow gray so now let's open up the package mm. Striking color, yellow and black, I like it. Now, let's check out this package. So here's the pin for you to unlock the SIM card slot. And ah, this is the clear case they came included. Good job. I love that they include a free case for you. You don't have to go buy another one. So instruction manual and the warranty card. Yep, comes with one year warranty and let's look at the quality of the case so it's a transparent case pretty sturdy yep better than nothing I'll say and okay this is the charger and yep this is the type C cable one meter this is the fast charging charger 33 watt charger feels pretty solid and very heavy now time to check out the smartphone. Poco X3 NFC comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G, a 120Hz Full HD LCD display, a 64MP quad camera, and a 5160mAh battery. Basically, it has the latest mid-range chipset, a flagship level, high refresh rate screen, a pretty good camera setup, and also a very big battery. So this is the front selfie camera, it's 20 megapixel and this is four camera at the back basically. This is the flashlight, the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, the 64 megapixel main lens, a 2 megapixel macro lens and a depth sensor. So basically uh, the last two camera is pretty useless, <laughs> the more camera the better. The bag is made from polycarbonate which is plastic but it has a metal finish so it doesn't feel uh, very cheap but it's not very premium either. So in here we have the Type-C charger 
and we also have the speaker and the audio jack and at the front you can see we have the IR blaster and the microphone And this is the hybrid of the power button and the fingerprint sensor. So the fingerprint sensor is at the side. And this is the volume rocker. And this is the SIM card tray. Let's open up using the pin that it's included. So there's a rubber band inside, which means this is a uh, splash proof. This phone has a uh, IP53 water resistance. So basically it is splash proof. Lah. And this is a hybrid slot, so you either can put two SIM card or one SIM card and expandable storage. First, let's talk about design. So for me personally, I feel like the design is actually pretty good. Uh, it actually looks pretty premium for me. And I like the arrangement of the camera. The bag is made from polycarbonate, uh, but it has a metallic finish, so it looks pretty good. This phone is powered by the latest mid-range chipset from Snapdragon, which is a 732G. So performance-wise, uh, it is pretty fast and snappy. The opening and the scrolling of the apps is uh, pretty fast and smooth. The operating system is a uh, Poco Launcher. It's basically a modified version of MIUI. I know a lot of people doesn't like MIUI, but I have been using Redmi for the last 5 years, so I'm pretty okay about it. And there's one thing I like about Poco Launcher is that uh, the function of the app drawer. So basically, I can put the apps that I needed on the front and leave the other in the drawer. So this is something that is missing in the UI, which I really hate about it. But it's not all rainbow and sunshine, uh, because I think that this Poco Launcher is actually a little bit on the heavy side. I actually experienced some stutter and some lagging when I'm opening something like a camera app or once in a while when I'm scrolling through or changing other apps but it, it is just a very brief period of lagging and slowdown it is so it's not deal breaker and bear in mind that this is a very new phone with the latest chipset from Qualcomm so definitely they will need to some time for optimization I believe that this will improve uh, down the road so let's talk about the high refresh rate 120 Hz LCD display so basically you can go to the setting and you can choose between either 60 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate. So Poco claim that they are using a type of technology called adaptive sync, which the refresh rate will be adjust according to what kind of task you are doing. For example, if you're watching video, it will be changed to 60 frames per second. If you are gaming, it will adjust to the highest rate that the game will support. So this will help to conserve and reduce the drain of the battery. So after using for around 2 days, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the high refresh rate display. Uh, although this is just uh, an LCD, it's not uh, OLED, so the color will not be as rich and as punchy as AMOLED. But I would say it's a very good quality LCD. And for just 799 ringgit, uh, LCD is definitely uh, pretty normal at this kind of range. You won't find AMOLED at this kind of price. Now let's talk about gaming performance. So I have tried to play a few games with this phone, uh, including PUBG, Mortal Kombat, Call of Duty, and Mobile Legend. So these are pretty high demanding games that demand a lot of uh, processing power. And frankly speaking, all of them are running very very well. There is no lagging and stutter when I'm running them at the highest graphic. For PUBG, it is running at uh, around 30 frames per second. Well, for Mobile Legend, it is running at 60 frames per second at the highest graphics setting. So it is very smooth. And the Poco X3 also has a touch sampling rate of 240 Hz. So the feedback is very responsive. And this is very important for competitive games such as uh, PUBG. I also tried out Shadowgun War games, so this is a game that supports frame rate up to 90 frames per second, so it is a high refresh rate game. 
and again on the highest graphic setting everything run very smooth and the high refresh rate really can give you an edge on the gaming especially on this fast pacing game you can really feel the difference but you need to bear in mind that uh, there's a lot of other games that does not support high refresh rate like uh, the, the normal competitive games such as PUBG and Mobile Legends they only support up to 60 frames per second the POCO X3 MSC also comes with a dual stereo speaker so the audio quality is very very good it is really amazing that they include such feature on such an affordable budget device and so after 40 minutes of gaming the phone actually does, feels a little bit warm but it's not hot at all I would say it's acceptable because uh, this phone actually comes with a liquid cooling system so that's another good point about it POCO X3 comes with a 5160 mAh battery so this is a very huge battery for this kind of phone and it also comes with a 33 watt fast charging as you can see here the charging speed is insane basically you can get from 0 to 60% battery life by just charging for 30 minutes and you get a full charge for around 1 hour the full charge will last you around one and a half to two days depend on your usage so for me the battery life is really really good and plus the fast charging technology you will not have problem with low battery anytime soon and on the final part we'll go to the camera section so the POCO X3 packs a 64 megapixel primary camera with Sony IMAX sensor so the picture captured during the daytime using the primary camera is pretty good I would say uh, the, the image is very crisp and clear with a lot of detail but the color is a little bit not natural so this is an uh, unusual problem with phone with MIUI the color like the green and the red color will be a little bit oversaturated well for picture capture during the night time the main camera kind of struggle as you can see here but there is a night mode available for you to get a better picture but your hand must be very stable in order for you to get a clear picture for the 12 megapixel ultra wide lens it do a pretty good job in daytime as well with enough details and a very wide field of view but i don't recommend using ultra wide lens during the night time because it does not have night mode and the quality is uh, kind of bad so for the 2 megapixel macro lens, uh, there's nothing special about it. it. The picture quality is really mediocre. Same thing applied to the depth sensor as well. Now for the 20 megapixel selfie camera, under daylight, the quality is good with enough detail. Well, for low light conditions, again, it suffers with a lot of noise in the background and the night mode, although it's available, but it doesn't help that much next we'll move on to the video recording so this is recording using the main 64 megapixel main camera so the main camera actually comes with an electronic image stabilization so this is very good to provide stability during recording the video i'm really surprised by the quality of the video recorded i think this is a very good vlogging camera especially in have image stabilizations and the video quality is really good and with, with the right amount of exposure just that the color will be a little bit unnatural and this camera actually support up to 4k 30 frames per second recording so this is the audio quality for POCO X3 video recording so as you can see here there's a little bit of uh, background noise so can you how was my voice is it clear now in low light condition, uh, as you can see here the video recording, the quality is really suffer. There's a lot of noise and the electronic image stabilization actually caused some issue during the night time. And this is recorded using the ultra wide camera in the daytime. As you can see, uh, in the daytime the camera, all of the camera actually performed very well. And the electronic image stabilization is also applied on the ultra wide lens. Okay, 
Okay, so this is recording using the front 30 megapixel control camera. So the front camera doesn't have electronic image stabilization. So yeah, it will be a little you know, shaky. And this is a selfie video recording at low light condition. Again, it suffer with a lot of noise and there's not enough uh, light reflected from my face. So doesn't really recommend to use selfie recording at night. But overall, I would say if you compare with uh, the previous older version of uh, Xiaomi phone, the camera department definitely improves a lot. So in conclusions, I definitely approve this the best phone for cheapo. Okay, so you, I don't think you can find any other company coming out with another better deal than this. So for some of the cons that I found out is that the screen is actually uh, LCD. It's not OLED, so the color is not will not be as bright as OLED. Uh, but again, we need to look at the pricing. For such pricing, uh, it is normal for them to include the LCD inside. And and the second one is uh, for gaming. Although it runs really well, but it doesn't really fully utilize the high refresh rate of the screen because of the chipset is only mid range, so they can't really run very high more than 60 fps games uh, in Poco X3 and there's actually you know some slight stutter when you're using uh, this handphone but it's just really like it's just deep picking uh, because because of the chipset it's just range so I can't expect like uh, flagship performance from it okay another point is also it is a very heavy phone it's pretty heavy it weighs around 230 grams so this is definitely not a light phone with all those flagship features that I mentioned just now, you can't get all these features with uh, on another device with around the same pricing. In order for the, for you to get around the same kind of feature in another in other phones, yeah, you need to pay another thirty or fifty percent more money for to get the same amount of feature. So I do believe that this is the flagship killer and the mid range king for year twenty twenty. So if you like what you are saying. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icons and I will see you on the next video.